Hey y'all, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to the crazy here. Meet Pumpkin, she's my whole me 24 hours a day, kitty. It's Leslie with Fat Cat Flossin. I hope you guys are having a great day. I have to tell you, I have just sort of given up. Um, it's been a crazy busy few weeks here. You'll notice I have a stack of laundry right there. I decided to just leave it instead of trying to mess with it because Rosie's having a nap on top of it. And you know, cats are more important here. Sorry, I think my tripod is not tight. So I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. Anyway, welcome back to the crazy. Let me put the cat down. We'll talk about some stitching. All's great here, um, which is good. It's, just, it's been a very busy few weeks. I've got lots of kittens. I have um, the two 16-week-old kittens who will be leaving on, the first one flies out on Monday, so I'll be going to the airport in Little Rock on Monday. And this is Prissy. She's a little blue point. I love my babies. Anyway, um, I'll be going to the airport in Little Rock on Monday. Kind of a bummer that it's a Monday because the Shepherd's Needle is closed, but darn. Uh, but it is what it is. That's when the flight goes out, so that's when Naya and I will meet her new mommy at the airport. Um, I just got back from taking the Naya and her sister Pele for their rabies shots and Naya's health certificate. And it's just one busy thing after another. Not much stitching done, a little bit. But anyway, the busy and not much stitching is why it's taken me almost three weeks to get back. Like usual, I'm going to try to get back sooner than that, but hmm, it's me. Who knows? Anyway, um, what? Let me think. Okay. Cruise. One more time to mention for Joe. Um, Joe with Silks for You in Australia beautiful silks. I'll show you some of those in a minute. Contacted me and asked if I would mention the cruise they're doing. It is September 8th through the 14th, 2019. This is a um, Royal Caribbean cruise leaving from Galveston, Texas and um, going through the Caribbean. I think it goes to um, Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and Jamaica. I've been on this ship and done that itinerary. It's tons of fun. And in addition to the usual itinerary, there's going to be a couple of classes for the retreat on board. So you guys, um, I'll put all the information in the drop down. Y'all get in contact with Joe. Wish I could go. I think it's going to be tons of fun. It's my old man, Max. He's got a cold. So if you hear sneezy noises, well, it's either him or it could be me because I've got a spring cold slash sinus snotty disease of some sort. So <clears throat> one of us. Um, what else? I don't have any FFOs. I rearranged my office and it's really hard to get into the closet now to get up my craft supplies. And I just haven't moved everything to get in there and get everything out to FFO stuff. Um, I do have a small finish though. I finished Kindness from Little House Needleworks. I am doing the Pat Carson layout of all the little sheep virtues on one big piece. And I finished Kindness there, which is the October block. And I'm doing these in just a mix of DMC and Victorian Motto and some fancy floss, just whatever. I, I didn't buy any thread for this project. I just used whatever I had. So I've now got three blocks complete, the January, the July, and the October block, as well as the center panel. I, I still need to add the words to the center panel. And then I have a small start on what I'm using for the March block, which is the piece pattern, which is probably my favorite of all of these. So that's what I've got done on that. These don't take me real long, like um, probably two days is the average if I get down and actually get some good stitching time. I haven't had a whole lot of real good stitching time lately because I've just been busy with kittens and general life crap because, you know, that stuff just keeps happening no matter how much you want to sit on the couch and stitch. <clears throat> and it does seem to keep happening. 
The thing I worked the most on is Joy You Noel from Blackbird Designs. This is from the um, Joy You Noel book that Pam and Steph lent me. And that book is put away safely since it does not belong to me. So this is just my um, copy here, but I do have the book right now. And I am changing this up some. I didn't use any of the recommended fibers. I chose my own silks. And here's what I've got. I've, I am probably three quarters of the way done with this. And this linen is a very, very pale blue. It's a fabric flare printed linen, so the modeling only shows up on the front. Um, those colors look a little darker. Hush, don't be fussing. Sorry, grumpy girls. Um, those colors look a little darker here than what they actually are. They're all relatively pastel. But I've got um, down here where it says Joy You Noel on the original stamp or as charted, I'm going to change that to Welcome Friends, and I may change it to be French. Not sure. Um, and then I'm going to change the bottom border. Um, since I'm doing that holly border on um, Tis the Season, I didn't want to do the same border on another piece. So I think I'm going to do that tulip border. And this is another Blackbird Designs um, pattern. This is um, the Sweetheart Sampler. But I have tremendously enjoyed working on this one. Um, my favorite so far has been, let's see, this alphabet here is done in eyelet stitches. I really do enjoy doing eyelet stitches. And the next alphabet down here is done in a four-sided stitch, which is also fun. So I'll probably, I may get started on that this evening if I have any time. We'll see. But I'm hoping to get this one finished, knocked out before too long, I hope. And... It's been a real pleasure stitching on with the silks. Um, and I like this linen. It's got a very soft hand. Um, some people don't like stitching on real soft linen, but I do. Um, I don't. I hate it when the fabric is kind of crunchy feeling. I like it to be drapey. So, and I don't really have a problem with my, sorry, cat just jumped onto the table and rocked y'all around. Go on, Katie, go on. Um, anyway. I've had lots of fun so far with that. Whoops, left the pattern out. Can't do that. The next thing I worked on, and boy, this was a little bit of work. I think I worked on it Sunday afternoon, maybe. This is Love Never Fails from Barbara Anna. And I know that y'all have seen it on Instagram, um, Michelle Farm Girl. And by the way, Michelle, I am so very sorry about Chloe. I know you probably don't watch my videos, but if you do, I'm so sorry. I understand exactly how you feel. It is so hard to lose our girls that we're so attached to. But this is Love Never Fails from Barbara Anna. And I'm doing this as kind of a couples um, slash anniversary sampler, sampler for my husband and I. Excuse me one second. Get down. My husband spanks who I do not like. She's a pain in the ass. And she's into every last damn thing. So here's where I am on Love Never Fails. My progress is I've gotten these two flowers completed and started on another flower over here. Um, so that's, that's the progress I made on Sunday and maybe Monday, I think. It all runs together. But this isn't part of my Stitch 9. I really, really want to get it done this year. I am so far not knocking it out of the park on the Stitch 9 thing. I think I finished I finished one. I finished Oh Beautiful, um, which I really need to get framed. But that's the only one I've made any significant progress on. Get my butt in gear, huh? The next thing I worked on was... Goat Load from Plum Street Samplers. And I did this, this um, Emily C, this is her birthday style piece. And I am doing it um, not as an individual piece, but I'm gonna do five total of them on one piece of fabric. And so I started in the center with Goat Load, because I'm a center starter, y'all. I just don't get that starting. I can't figure it out. I'm so nervous I'm gonna screw up the counting. 
And what I've accomplished since the last time y'all saw this is I have added in this little basket of flowers up here and those flower stems and leaves, that little flower there, and started on the hill down here under the goat's feet. Um, I am gonna have to figure out, let me find a pattern again here. On, all of these patterns are not exactly the same size. And with it being side to side, that's not a big deal because as I finish one, I'll just, you know, be able to set the other one up there. But there, where there's a difference that's gonna be more pertinent is in the height. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom of this and do this bottom border and then go up the sides. And I will probably leave the top unfinished for now until I get basically all of them done. And then once I've got all of them done, I'm gonna go in and adjust the height to, to match them up across the top. Hopefully that'll work, because I don't want some of them looking taller and shorter than others um, going across. And they're, they're, they range from, let's see, 54 by 90, 56 by 90, 54 by 93, 64 by 92, 54 by 90. So there's about a, a range of five, four or five stitches in the height um, that I'll have to compensate for in some way. But I think I can figure that out. Like I said, I'm just gonna, gonna leave the top unfinished and then I'll go back and add that in. I haven't been telling y'all what fabrics these are. This is um, 36 count, shoot, honey, I think. It's called Honey. And this is from Hand Dyed Happiness on Etsy. It's a really, really pretty color. I think I'm going to need more of it when I'm done with this. Um, the Joy You Noel was on a 36 count fabric flare. And the Little Sheep Virtues is on 36 count country mocha, I think. It's all written down in my X-Stitch app, but my brain is not so good about that. But anyway, that's what I've been working on. Um, I do have a little bit of haul to show. Most of it, or some of it, from my of the month um, subscriptions. Excuse me. The first of which is I get the Silks for You, Silks of the Month, and these are... February's silks. I don't have the March ones yet. And they're just really pretty. I love this green. That's a really pretty green. And I love their silks. And this is um, 10 meters, so a little over 10 yards on each skein. And it is five skeins for 20 bucks, including shipping from Australia. So $4 a skein, including shipping for 10 yards plus. Can't beat it with a stick. The colors are beautiful and vibrant and the hand of it, the feel of it is just awesome. I'm using a number of Silks for You silks in um, the Joy You Noel piece and they are every much a joy, as much of a joy to work with as the Gloriana or the NPI. Um, they're great quality and the value is just unprecedented. So I would urge you to go to the Silks For You page on Etsy and see what she's got because they are great. Okay. The other haul I've got is um, my Fabric of the Month. And this is Picture This Plus Highland. And it's a really pretty modeled, it's, it's I think a little bit brighter green than what it's showing up there. But it's a very, very pretty pale springy green background with a kind of gray green modeling on it. And can't get it to really show up. And I really like the piece where the modeling is, it's got more of the lighter color. So anyway, really pretty. And I get this from um, Drema at, um, Needlecraft Corner, and I will also link her below. She's she's a joy also to work with. <clears throat> Y'all excuse my scratchy throat. I think I'm gonna have to get a drink here before I can talk anymore. 
I just got over the cold and then I got the allergy crud. But it's better than it was when I lived in South Texas. When the mesquite bloomed there, I was miserable for months. And then my other of the month subscription are my flosses from Victorian Motto. And I'm late to the party, so I'm not going to take them out and show them all individually. But as usual, Nancy has done an exemplary job with her color. She just really, really does a great job of dyeing. And then I told y'all I only ordered one thing. And I did. I only pre-ordered one thing from Market. And I'm so in love with it. This is Elizabeth Weston, circa 1830, from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. It is gorgeous. Pink is my favorite color. There are multiple shades of pink in there, ranging from a very pale pink to a plummy pink. And it's the, look at that, look at that border. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is a big piece. Um, 433 stitches by 433 by 449 and I will do this on 36 count and on a 36 count they recommend the fabric be cut basically 31 by 30, 30 by 31 or 31 by 31 something like that and I don't have anything that big in my stash so I am at some point going to have to order the fabric for this. And it's just as well I don't have the fabric because I would have already started it had I the fabric. So but I'm just in love. It will take me years. I mean, I may die before I get done stitching this. Um, but I'm going to give it the old college try because it is gorgeous. So that was my one and only market pre-order. But... I decided that I could have more goodies if I didn't have to pay extra out of pocket for them. So I kind of fudged on the stitch from stash. What I did was went into my fabric stash and I made and sold four project bags with all the materials from my fabrics stash and used that money to buy market goodies. <laughs> So I just traded stash for stash, right? I didn't didn't come out of the bank account. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. And I no longer remember who I got what from exactly. I don't remember. I did order a couple from, and so these are either from um, Teresa Kitten Stitcher, kittenstitcher.com, Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches, gulfcoaststitches.com. Um, are from Jen, Jen Stitch and Niche on Etsy. And then I had to order, I didn't have, um, on the trees, on that kindness pattern, the October block for the, um, Little Sheep Virtues piece. I wanted, because it was the October block, I wanted a modeled fall color thread, you know, orange and gold and green and whatever. So, and I didn't have anything like that that really worked in my stash. So I called Ann at the Shepherd's Needle in Little Rock, and Ann is awesome. And they sh were gonna ship me the thread. But since I was paying <laughs> shipping, I'm always thinking, y'all, hmm, it's a bad thing. But anyway, so I've got a couple of charts from there also. So I, I got charts from Anne at the Shepherd's Needle, from Teresa at Kitten Stitcher, from Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches, and from Jen at Jen Stitch and Niche. I spread the love around. So I'm going to show you what I got. I don't remember anymore which ones came from who. I fell in love. This was a market release from Plum, Plum Street Samplers. And this is Spring Salt Boxes. This blue house, y'all, with that quilt motif there. I love it. Love it. Had to have that one. So that's going to go into the start it sooner rather than later pile. And then I have it, but I haven't started it, the Milk and Cream Company. And so when Paulette at Plum Street Samplers came out with the Wool and Flax Company, and look, pink, pink house, pink girl, and sheep. You know I love me some sheep. I had to have 
the wool and flax company. Have no idea when I'll get that started. It's it is a larger piece. It's not huge. It's 123 by 127, but it's larger, so I don't know when I'll get that started. The um, salt box piece, um, 63 by 81, like I said, that's pretty small. That would make a good, you know, travel piece. So I'm, I may see what I've got, see if I've got the stuff to start one of those. Um, I also, everybody, you've seen this, everybody's seen it, everybody's doing it. Priscilla has finished it. I love that bunny. Oh, I love that bunny. This is Spring Fling from Brenda Gervais. And unlike Priscilla, I will probably do the bunny in white, although I don't like to stitch in white. I am debating, I've got some pink in my stash, but my pink I think is a 32 count. And I think I will do it at least on a 36, and I may even try to go up to 40 on that, um, because I sure like using one thread, especially with white, because for some reason, if I use two threads on white, it just always looks like crap. But anyway, I may have to find some other pink linen because I think my pink linen is, I think it's a 32 count. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? And then I was still in a rabbit mood. <laughs> and I love this. Mrs. Bun E. Tail. I love that. It's so clever. It's so cute. And this really looks like it would be a quickie. And I have plenty of linen that would work for that. So very, very cute. And she is only, it's a mystery. I don't see the stitch count, but there is a lot of, it's gonna take a bigger piece of linen because you know, you've gotta make the rabbit, but, um, there's not a whole lot of actual stitch into that. So I think that would be a quick one. And then y'all know I love Blackbird Designs. The Bells on Christmas Day. And my favorite from this one, let's see if I can find it real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just snotty as all get out. My favorite from this book is this piece which is Friendship's Gathering. I love that bird sitting on the house up there. A little Quaker quilt motif next to it. Now, they have finished this in the book in a bag. I don't have much use for a bag like that. I'm afraid it would just get torn up. Um, so I will probably just, you know, I won't make a bag out of it. But I think that's so pretty. I love it. And again, it's my colors. And then, ooh la la also from Blackbird Designs. I know I got one of these from Ann, but I don't remember which one now. I've slept since then. I think it was this one. But it's another Blackbird Designs book. Let me show you my favorite out of it. Oh, y'all. I'm tired of being snotty. There's a couple of really pretty red work samplers in here. I'm, I'm not huge into just, you know, samplers with just letters on them, but they are pretty. They are very, very pretty. And I love how Blackbird finishes stuff. They are so imaginative with that. So this is my favorite out of this book. I just think this is so pretty, that vase with the, the flowers. And again, another bird. Love it. It's very pretty and a very simple book elegant border. I like that border. So, that's my favorite there. And Blackbird, I'm, I'm just, there are so many Blackbird patterns that I wish I had, and, you know, they came out during that 15-year period when I wasn't stitching, so I didn't get them. And now, they're cost prohibitive. I just, I just can't spend, you know, 50 or $60 on a pattern. I just can't do it, or more. I just can't do it. My budget doesn't run to that. So now I'm afraid that if I don't get them when they're, you know, first come out, I'll miss out. So yeah, I got the FOMO on the Blackbird Design stuff. Yes, what it is, right? And then, now these two were, all of those were market releases. The next two were not market releases. I actually went to Jen's website because um, the only thing I have not gotten that was a market release that um, I wasn't able to get 
is the meow um, block from Hands On Design. And I'm sure, you know, Julie and Teresa are just out of it right now. So I'll check back and I will be getting that one. Um, but when I went to Jen's shop to look, at, for, look for it, didn't find it. But I found these. This is Needle and Thread from Brenda Gervais. Isn't she cool? She's just cool. I love that. Holding her, her sewing basket. And those look like they should be sunflowers to me. But I love the buttons on there. And God knows I got buttons. I got buttons out the wazoo. So I think she's so cute. And then I've wanted this one for a while. And I've never been able to find it. It's always been sold out. Um, this is Where Hearts Rest. Also from Brenda Gervais. And I just love that bluebird on the nest. I think that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Now all I need is time to stitch, right? Y'all, oh, excuse me a minute. I'm sorry. There's a sneeze a coming. I feel it a coming. Whew. Okay, maybe we dodged the bullet on that one. We'll see. Oh, and on the stuff I got from Teresa, she's done these little cards. Um, she had an artist do this up. Um, this is supposed to be Jenny Bean, and I just love it. I think it's so, so pretty. I really don't want to write on it and use it and send it away. I I think I might frame it. It's just so pretty. I love it. Whoever she had draw it up did an excellent job. Excellent. Okay. And I got one other piece of mail. Um, I sent a chart from a giveaway to um, Lori. I'm going to remember your name, Lori. Lori Cicalone, I think, um, a while back. And poor Lori. It took me like a month or more to get that fit sucker in the mail. So she waited forever. But not only did she send me this really pretty thank you card and a lovely note inside, she also included this really cute little pattern. And that looks like a maybe I could stitch it up in a day kind of thing. And there's Pumpkin come to visit. So thank you very much, Lori. Uh, if I send any of y'all anything, you don't, feel, don't have to feel the need to send something back to me. But thank you so much for doing that. Pardon me one second. Okay. Let me see. Here's Pumpkin. Her name is Pumpkin Spice. She's about eight months old. She is a blue tortie. You can see her color is kind of a steel gray mixed with kind of a cream color. And she's she's sweet as she is just possibly could be. I could I could pick her up and carry her around 24-7 and she'd be quite happy with it. And she's a little suck up. She's so spoiled. She's purring away. Um, she loves people food. And we don't really give our animals people food because I don't think it's particularly healthy for them. But somehow she has wormed her way into my husband's good graces. And when he um, adds half and half to his coffee, Little Miss thinks she has to have some cream. So she gets a tiny bit of cream. And then he eats um, a serving of cottage cheese um, as part of his lunch. You know, he's on a, a counted calorie diet, but he gets some cottage cheese. Well, she's in love with the cottage cheese and she's the most miserable little being ever if he doesn't share with her. Badness kitten, badness, badness kitten girl. So when she's a little older, um, another four or five months, because I don't breed them until they're at least a year old, hopefully she'll be bred later this year and pass along that wonderful temperament. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, my giveaway winner from the last video was Lisa Newman. Lisa, I think I do have your address, and I'm sorry, life has just been insane between the preemie kittens and the other kittens and just one thing and another. Um, Excuse me. For instance, on those preemie kittens, I did tube feedings and gave sub Q fluids every two hours for 48 hours. And unfortunately, I lost two out of the three, but I do have one survivor, thank goodness, and he's doing great. But I mean, it's been a busy few weeks. So, Lisa, I'm going to get this in the mail. Hopefully tomorrow, because I have your address. Um, I have to go into Fort Smith tomorrow to get the oil change in Steve's car. Um, so since I'll be out running errands, I'm going to try to get that in the mail to you tomorrow. If not, it will be in the mail as soon as I can get my errands done and get to the post office. And then I had two more giveaways that I announced on that last video two and a half weeks ago. Um, Spring is in the air from Just Nan. 
and Sweetest Home from Country Cottage Needleworks. And what I asked was on this one, if you would just say, I'd like to stitch spring, and on this one to say, I'd like to stitch the bees, because those are bee skeps. Um, and I did the random comment picker thingy, and the winner for spring is Colin Springall. I think that's how you say the name. Colin, if you will contact me, I commented on your comment when I did the comment picker a little bit ago. Um, but if you will email me, my email is in the drop down box on all my videos. If you will just email me with your mailing address, I will get this in the mail also to you. I think from looking at your stuff, I'm gonna guess that you're in the UK and I have no problem sending it to the UK, but that does have to wait till I go to the post office in, in Fort Smith because the people at the port, uh, post office here in Mulberry are clueless about doing the customs forms. Ask me how I know two hours later. Anyway, Colin, congratulations, you win the spring pattern. I'll get that in the mail to you as soon as I have your address. And then the winner for Sweetest Home is, I apologize that I do not know your name, but the comment was left under Raw Food Gardener, the Raw Food Gardener. So if you will contact me with your name and mailing address, I will also get Sweetest Home sent out to you wherever you are. Just let me know. Okay. So that was that housekeeping. Oh, I have one more thing to give away. But before we do that, I want to take a minute and apologize. Ever since I started doing videos, I don't know, well, 68 videos ago, I have tried very hard to respond to every comment. And I did not get that done. And I had a hundred and something comments on this video. And I am... I am so sorry, y'all, but something had to give. And sitting at the computer time to answer questions was one of the things that had to go away. So I, re I read them all. I get a notification on my phone and I always go and read them. And I appreciate your comments so very much. And I've gone through and hit the little hearts on every one of them to show you that I've read it. Um, but I do read them and I very much appreciated them. But I just kind of run out of time to sit down and respond to each one. And I will, if I get more time, I'll go back to doing that. But please, please know that it's not that I don't value your comments because I really, really do. I enjoy them so much. They're such great validation. I love that I'm putting the video out to you and you're talking back to me. That's the best part of this. Um, so I apologize that I have not been able to respond to your comments, but please know that I do read them and appreciate them. Okay, and if I have time, I'm going to go back and catch up. If I have time. Okay, and then I do have another giveaway. I stitched this last year. This is Happy Heart from Shepherd's Bush. It's a very cute little patriotic summery pattern. And we're going to give this one away. I didn't think of anything special for you to comment. Just comment on the video. And if, if you comment and you don't want the pattern, just say, here's my comment, don't enter me. Um, but all you have to do to be entered to win this one is leave a comment on this video. I don't care where you li live, I'll mail it anywhere in the world. Please be over 18 so it's legit for you to give me your address. Um, don't say giveaway or contest or you know, any of the key words about, you know, we don't want somebody who's not going to actually appreciate a cross-stitch pattern, getting the cross-stitch pattern, just to turn around and sell it on, on eBay. Um, and I appreciate, I'm not going to go and look <laughs> because I run out of time, but I do appreciate it if you are a subscriber. And I'm up to almost 2,100 subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm, I'm to this day flabbergasted that anybody comes back to listen to me blither about cross-stitch but y'all are some of the best part of my day. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for coming back and visiting. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for all the prayers for those little kittens. Um, the little red boy um, that was the runt from next to the last litter is doing good. He's still tiny, but he is doing good. And he's got quite the um, ferocious personality. He doesn't know that he's a little bitty. And then those littlest kittens that are two weeks old, um, the little preemie kitten that's only... Um, was so tiny and is the only survivor out of his litter. He's doing great. So I put up a, a couple of kitten videos earlier in the week. Y'all go check them out. Thanks for your prayers. We sure appreciate them.
I hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed week. I hope everything's going your way. I hope you're enjoying spring as much as I am. And I hope that you know God's love. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. God bless.